Hey Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another Junk Wax Pack Rip video. Yeah, we normally don't rip wax uh, on camera, but we have a special occasion because of uh, something special that landed in Porter's lap earlier today. Yeah, so my grandmother's friend Paige was trying to get rid of some stuff and he found some cards. And um, he asked his partner, hey, where do you think I should, like, give these to or whatever? And his partner said, my grandma, because she can give them to me. Yeah, they're, they're going to find a, a fun home here. So we have a box, uh, and back when boxes used to have 36 packs per, <laughs> of 1990 Donruss, 1991 score Series sec 2. Series two. 1991 Ultra, yep, and then 1991 Upper Deck Second Series. Now, why don't you show the packs, uh, just so people can see. Yeah, there you go. That's 90 Donruss, 91 Score, uh, 91 Ultra, Fleer Ultra. This was Fleer's foray into the higher-end product. And then uh, we've got 91 Upper Deck High Series. That's not the Jordan Series. And, and like oh. normal, when somebody gives us something, uh, if we get something of tremendous value, like let's say we find the Mickey Mantle Auto, or the Hank Aaron Auto, if it's still stuck in there after all these years, uh, we will pay it forward. So we're going to do this live on camera. Let's see, which pack do you want to open up first? All right, I'm going to start with the Donruss, and I'm going to rip these, like, off to the side. I'm, uh, like, I'm still going to rip these right now, but I'm ripping them off camera just so it makes it easier. Okay, you're going to flip right. them around. We got a puzzle card. Yeah, who was the puzzle that year? Uh, Carl Yastrzemski. That's right. All right, got uh, Steve Sachs. Yeah. Walt Weiss. Mm-hmm. Good. Joel Skinner. Oh, we got a good one. Bo Jackson. Yep. Put that on a stand. Gene Petrali. Yep. Not sure if these are ink dots or not. We got a rated rookie here. Robin Ventura. Yeah, this is a great pack so far for the PC. Yeah. Steve Buscelli. Carney Langsford. Yeah, he was great third baseman for the A's. Spike Owen. Great pitcher for the Royals coming up here. Brett Saberhagen. Yeah. Hall of Famer. Eddie Murray. Yeah. Brooke Jacoby. Dave LaPointe. Mike Greenwell. Chet Lemon. And Rob Deere. All right, so shout out to our guy, Kyle. He loves Rob Deere. Next up, 1991 score. Maybe you try open, you know, showing them on camera. Like, kind of do like the uh, Junk Wax Sal does. I don't know. It makes it easier okay, if I okay, do it okay. off okay. camera. All right. Bob Tewksbury. Pete O'Brien. Dave Johnson. And this is just so much fun. This brings back so many memories for me and, and also memories for Porter because we were ripping a bunch of this stuff right at uh, right when we jumped back in the hobby. Love the dream team from uh, the 91 score set. John Candelaria. Ed Whitson. Jim Presley. Oh, this is awesome. Put that one right in the middle. Frank, the franchise. Yeah, that's a beautiful card. That and is awesome. And then move on. Prospect. Yeah, that's a rookie card. And then got a Joe Kramer. Cecil Fielder, 51 home runs. Yeah, that was a huge, huge milestone. Nobody had hit 50 in a while, and Cecil lit the uh, league on fire. Randy Myers, right? Yeah, lefty for the Reds. Got the World, World Series trivia card from 1923. Wait, yeah, that's 23. Juan Augusto. Danny Jackson. And Adam Peterson, a guy who, surprisingly, I don't think I've ever heard of. Okay. Uh, you've seen many of his cards, but maybe you just don't remember. So now what? 91 Ultra. And this is the one I was most excited for because I don't even remember ripping this when I was a kid. Um, this was a, a hot set. 92, they came out with a better design. And 1991, I know they had those gold inserts, I think like every four packs or something. So uh, this was cool because they had great photography on the front and the back. And I didn't realize they had these stickers in there too. So we got the Phillies. I love that old Phillies logo. Yeah, that Phillies logo is cool. Kenny Rogers. Rick Honeycutt. 
Eric Plunk. Dan Gladden. And you can tell that was shot at the old Comiskey with the yellow rails there. <laughs> yeah, I, now I do remember that they yeah. had yellow still. A lot of photographers do that because they could do two different leagues in the same town. Kurt Stillwell. Then we got the checklist here. I think that's Von Hayes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Von Hayes. Okay. Craig Biggio. Yeah, Hall of Famer. Bobby Thigpen. Very cool. Ron Gant. Yeah, great player from back in that day. Carlos Baerga. He was a hot prospect, too, back for the uh, Indians when they were starting to put it all together. Mitch Williams. Wild thing. That is awesome. That was his nickname. <laughs> that was like the major league yep, picture. Yep, that's where he got it. Cal Ripken Jr. Oh, cool. I've never seen that card. That's awesome. I've never seen that either. And last but not least, Hal Morris. All right. And we're going to wrap up with 1991 Upper Deck. As I mentioned, this is the uh, second series. So the SP in there is the Ricky and Nolan Ryan. Um, is that the, like the... Like the Jordan was series one SP. Short, it was a short print. Um, so we'll see what, if we can pull it in here. Scott Bales. Okay. Alex Fernandez. Yeah, that's a great shot with Ozzy in there. And then I always remember... Oh, no, it wasn't on the back. I, I knew there was a White Sox player in there. Don Paul. Chuck Finley. Yep. I want to say it was around that time. No, it was Kenny Rogers who picked the per pitched the perfect game. He pitched the perfect game? Yep. Heathcliff Slocum. Yeah, I always love that name. <laughs> yeah, that's, your, that's a great name. Uh, Barry Jones. Yeah, he played for the White Sox for a little bit. I love those Expos jerseys. Greg Olson. Beat out Griffey for Rookie of the Year. He did? Yeah. Vince Coleman. No way. Look what we're going to pull here next. These are great packs for us. Yeah. Frank Thomas, second year. Yes. First upper deck card. Nice. Why they didn't put him in 1990, I have no idea. Jim Presley. They didn't put him in... Wait. He, he didn't have a 1990 upper deck card. Oh, this is a hot one, too. Jose Canseco. And then I think if you look on the back, and this is why I loved upper deck. What is this? What does that say? Fear me? I, I think that, that says leave me alone. Oh, leave me alone. That's right. <laughs> leave me alone. Yeah, that was back when he was in his Madonna phase. And yeah, he was a celebrity. Pete and Cavillia. Inky. Oil Can Boyd. I have no idea what his nickname is. It's a Oil great nickname, can. though. It's one of the best ever. Another Vince Coleman. Oh, two in the same pack. Gotta love that junk wax collation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Red's uh, sticker hologram. Yeah. And last but not least, Felix Jose. Yeah, so we've got a, a couple of boxes here, and we'll definitely pass some of the packs forward, maybe to Cash and Dad and a few others we know would like to rip. But this was so much fun. I uh, want to thank uh, your grandmother's friend for providing us many hours of ripping some junk wax. And, <laughs> yeah. Boy, if they're all this good, I, I don't know. It's going to be hard to keep these aside. Got a couple of Frank Thomas already, some Hall of Famers, uh, and this is what it's all about. We want to thank you for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.